Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Asse and a uh, short background, uh, short introduction about background is that uh, mm, I'm uh, worked uh, in IT field uh, as in the service uh, side and development side about uh, 12 uh, years, years. And uh, now about a year ago I, di I discovered uh, Bitcoin and uh, as more I studied it more it became uh, more excited for me. And now um, I have been already uh, uh, half year uh, cryptocurrency expert. Uh, I'm working in LHV and uh, I think I'm, I'm uh, one of the very few views uh, in the world who is working in this field with uh, in a bank and um, I already saw how many uh, have heard or know something about uh, ethereum but uh, and I assume that uh, you know something about the Bitcoin too but uh, how many um, uh, own the Bitcoin actually okay quite a few so uh, today I'm uh, not talk about the Bitcoin as a product or as, or, uh, as a finance instrument or uh, uh, yeah, as a, it's uh, much famous as a, as a money or as a product but the another side of the Bitcoin is this uh, technology side of it uh, it's actually whole idea uh, uh, technology and platform how we can uh, move uh, information and uh, uh, that's uh, that's so because it solves one uh, one uh, problem what's called uh, in general's problem it first time uh, it defined uh, already uh, 30 years ago, uh, 1982, uh, by third, uh, three uh, uh, states computer scientists. And uh, uh, the problem uh, can be described uh, with one uh, metaphor. Uh, we imagine that Several divisions of the Byzantine army are camped outside the uh, enemy city and uh, each uh, division has uh, his own general, there are those four here. Uh, after observing the enemy, they must decide uh, upon a common plan of action. However, uh, some of the generals may be traitors trying to prevent, prevent uh, the loyal generals from uh, reaching uh, agreement. The generals must have an algorithm to guarantee that A, all loyal generals decide upon same uh, plan of action and uh, B, small number of traitors cannot cause loyal generals to adopt a bad plan. So basically uh, the problem is that uh, uh, how to uh, avoid uh, traitors uh, from inside the system and how to guarantee that the information uh, which is uh, moving inside the system is uh, trustful and uh, and uh, same thing if the system if this, uh, this decentralized system uh, uh, increases a lot if, if there is a lot of uh, parties came uh, join will join the system and uh, Bitcoin is so far uh, best solution for this problem. Uh, and um, that's because one of the main invention, uh, inventions is the way how is data stored and distributed inside this uh, uh, system. And uh, this invention called blockchain. Uh, blockchain is, um, for example, in Bitcoin system, it's mostly uh, known as open ledger uh, and other altcoin systems, but uh, it is uh, uh, actually uh, a distributed database 
which uh, copies as uh, uh, every miner around the world, uh, thousands, hundreds, and thousands of them. And uh, uh, all uh, data changes and uh, uh, transactions between the parties are timestamped. Uh, and at the same time encrypted and uh, signed. Uh, and they all are uh, mathematically related into one uh, chain. Up to first uh, transaction, which in case of Bitcoin was uh, uh, 3rd January uh, 2009. 2008, uh, end of the 2008, uh, uh, became Shatoshi Nakamoto uh, announced this uh, white paper peer-to-peer uh, -peer money system uh, but uh, uh, guys uh, who saw this paper doesn't uh, believe that this actually work and, uh, and then uh, Shatoshi uh, made first uh, came up with first code and uh, clients and uh, and uh, 3rd January 2008 was the third, first uh, transaction. And actually this uh, Byzantine generalist problem, it's, uh, it's a famous problem because the, all the scientists around the world, uh, computer scientists, uh, thought that this problem is uh, impossible to solve until they see this uh, same uh, paper and, uh, and uh, thought that this may be uh, solve this problem. And today we know that uh, Bitcoin uh, has uh, most better solution to solve this. And uh, this uh, blockchain, which uh, uh, core uh, thing inside the Bitcoin, is uh, ca can be built in different methods. And one of the methods is uh, 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 proof of work. Uh, proof of work, which uh, is called as a mining tool, and uh, uh, but there is a proof of stake example, and uh, but yeah, proof of work was uh, one of the first, and uh, and it's uh, mostly again mostly tested and uh, mostly trusted because it's uh, one of the oldest uh, now five years old. Uh, okay, uh, why? Uh, all this important and why distributed systems are important. Um, right now, uh, as a humans, uh, we are living in uh, around that, or surrounded with uh, centralized systems. Our, uh, our systems, like uh, government, example, uh, our uh, working relationships are all are based on uh, centralized systems, and uh, it's because that. Uh, so far, uh, we haven't uh, uh, even uh, possible to move information in uh, those systems. Uh, and uh, centralized system is uh, easy uh, because it has one single point uh, uh, who is like, uh, we, we need to trust, trust this single point and all the information goes through the this uh, single point, and it's like uh, it will it, it will secure the uh, information, and uh, but uh, but the bad uh, things about this centralized system is that uh, same uh, same time this uh, single point is a single point of failure uh, because. Um, Yeah, all the information goes through that and uh, actually basically all the system depends uh, from this uh, single point. And that's why um, we need to protect it. We need firewalls, uh, all the viruses uh, attacks this single point of failure. Uh, and uh, another thing is that uh, in uh, um, those centralized system, this single point is uh, mostly a human factor, and uh, human factor can't be uh, never objective uh, in relationship with uh, other parties of the system. 
and uh, yeah, it can be manipulated. Human factor uh, can yeah, get be manipulated, and uh, it's uh, it's like a third party between peer-to-peer uh, -peer relationships, which are those here. And um, now the decentralized systems. Uh, uh, some examples maybe are uh, uh, internet itself is uh, pretty much decentralized system, and uh, Napster, one of the famous two, was decentralized system. And now uh, distributed system systems, uh, which are actually much more natural than uh, centralized systems. If we see the uh, whole environment, uh, whole uh, nature, nature, nature is a distributed system. It's self-regulated um, and uh, it just uh, works its own uh, internal rules and uh, follows its own, own internal rules. And same uh, uh, human body example is a uh, distributed system. <coughs> And uh, Bitcoin too. Uh, one uh, first distributed system, uh, hu human-made distributed system, was uh, Torrent Network, which is working uh, today pretty well. And and now the Bitcoin, and Bitcoin um, uh, with the blockchain uh, technology allows now uh, to build much more. Uh, advanced distributed systems uh, and uh, those distributed systems are much more better because uh, they can be uh, secure, uh, dynamical, and they can react much more uh, faster than uh, for the environment than these uh, centralized systems and uh, of course they have uh, really much more scalability and uh, uh, and this uh, objectivity uh, uh, to the parties. And now, uh, uh, one product, product called Ethereum. Um, it uh, firstly, uh, mm, the idea came up um, beginning of this year. Uh, one of the authors of this uh, Ethereum and, uh, and the author of the idea is uh, Vitarik Buterin. He lives in Canada, uh, I think was it Vancouver maybe. Uh, he's uh, only 20 years old now, really talented guy. And uh, uh, he made first uh, things with cryptology already when he was only 15 years old. Um, yeah, the project, project Ethereum started in the uh, beginning of this year and uh, they, uh, according to the roadmap and uh, their, uh, the plan uh, to finish it uh, end of this year. Uh, so yeah, one, one year is like developing um, time. Um, Ethereum is uh, then decentralized uh, and distributed software developing pot platform and same time uh, uh, like uh, programming language. Um, it allows to build uh, decentralized applications which are uh, self-regulated and uh, uh, working as a peer-to-peer -peer without uh, any middleman in the center. Source code is totally open. It sto stores in uh, GitHub. Um, uh, the whole development process is really transparent. Um, uh, the com community behind it is really uh, big. There is a lot of information in uh, wikis and different uh, forums. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, end of this summer they had their own uh, crowdfunding campaign 
they uh, sold uh, much their uh, internal uh, medium of value, visit, which is uh, Ether. They sold uh, 60 million of it, as I remember. And uh, altogether, uh, uh, 30 million dollars. And uh, but the uh, first two weeks, they have sold uh, 12 million uh, dollars there inside uh, medium of value. And uh, this is actually one of the fastest growing uh, crowdfunding campaign ever. Two weeks and uh, 12 million dollars. Um, roadmap and status of development is available in their home page. Uh, right now there is a testing platform up and running and uh, um, uh, can, uh, and uh, out this uh, testing uh, client for the Ethereum network. And uh, meetups around the world taking place uh, pretty much every month, maybe. Uh, team behind it is uh, 30 full-timers, at least, uh, including this Vitali Puterin and, uh, and including uh, advisors Neil Koblitz, who is uh, inventor of uh, electric curve uh, cryptography, and uh, another guy is Ralf Merkel, who is uh, one of the inventors uh, of uh, public key cryptography. Pretty amazing team, I would say. Uh, so, um, how it works then? Core of the Ethereum is the um, uh, same blockchain technology. It's uh, optimized uh, so that the Talos instead of uh, only transact values, uh, as we know in Bitcoin network, it can, be, uh, it can store uh, different models of uh, software applications. Uh, it means that applications which are built in different languages, for example, uh, Java, JavaScript, HTML, PHP, and uh, so on, uh, can put all into the blockchain. And uh, those software models uh, has called uh, contracts in Ethereum uh, blockchain. And uh, those uh, contracts uh, can communicate each other uh, uh, with uh, uh, blockchain transactions. Uh, yeah, the, those transactions are like the really specific messages between those contracts, and uh, and uh, those contracts are maintained the, uh, by the network itself. Uh, so yeah, without the third party. And uh, then uh, is this uh, ether, which is. Uh, basically pretty much same thing like uh, Bitcoin in Bitcoin network, but it's, uh, it's only like internal uh, medium of uh, value uh, uh, which will power uh, those contracts. And uh, this uh, Ethereum, uh, or yeah, this uh, uh, contracts can be uh, uh, connected with other blockchains too, for example, Bitcoin blockchain, uh, or uh, some other altcoin blockchains. Uh, so what are the future possibilities? And the uh, possibilities now already uh, with this uh, new uh, solution. For example, laws. Uh, actually, I believe that uh, at that uh, with Ethereum, with help of Ethereum and with those uh, contracts, it's, it's possible to build uh, uh, most laws uh, into the application already. Uh, if the logic of the law can be translated to the mathematics, then it's really, the, the mathematics itself is uh, much more simpler to put it into the code 
and uh, and the code uh, put into the Ethereum uh, blockchain and uh, yeah, to comply, compile it as an Ethereum contract. Uh, another thing is that uh, we can build really easily with uh, our own currencies. <coughs> For example, uh, I'm as an artist, uh, uh, I will make uh, my own currency and I can use it, uh, I can uh, relate it uh, with my uh, creativity, with my products, uh, for example, and uh, this currency can be traded in decentralized markets. So my, uh, my creativity is like, uh, uh, I can trade with my creativity in decentralized markets.